Hey, Tim Smith with Claremont Fire. Uh, this will be the second video on our, uh, our rescue Zodiac style boat. Uh, I want to cover the, uh, the, the outboard that we have on the back of it. Uh, it's kind of a general overview and starting procedures. Um, it is a Mercury four stroke, uh, 20 horse. Uh, it is a carbureted engine and it runs off of uh, regular fuel. Um, the non-ethanol fuel is going to be the preferred fuel that we use. Um, something that's uh, a little unique with this particular uh, motor. Uh, we do not add the two-stroke oil to this, uh, to this motor. It is a four-stroke. Um, I would consider this a, a, a glorified lawnmower, for lack of a better term. Um, but before we do uh, start it, uh, I just want to show you um, where you would check the oil. It is a four-stroke, um, so it does have uh, oil down in the crankcase. Um, if uh, you look for the, the yellow handle here, um, basically a, a typical dipstick, um, it does have the proper amount of oil in it. Um, you've, got the, uh, you've got a little bit of information here as far as the recommended oil. Uh, if this thing were low on oil, uh, this would be the fill area. Um, we would uh, fill and check uh, until it was at its proper level. Uh, it is a carbureted, carbureted engine and, um, and we do do have some adjustments here if needed if the if the boat isn't uh, idling properly you can make some minor adjustments there and and get it uh, get it idling a little better putting the cowling back on start with the uh, start with the front first and then it's just got the one snap in the back and we're good to go um, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the motor and get it, get it uh, ready for operation. With any type of uh, uh, marine motor, what keeps them cool is the actual body of water that you're in. Um, so I don't want to start this motor without uh, having water going through the system. And to do that, I've, uh, I've attached a, uh, I call them rabbit ears, but uh, attached it to the guard hose. I'm going to turn that on. All right, I've got water flowing to the pickup area that, uh, imagine the boat's now sitting in the water and um, the, uh, the motor will be able to, uh, to intake um, that water to keep itself cool. To, uh, to start this, we need to connect the, uh, the, the gas to the, uh, the motor and it's just a quick uh, clip, uh, just a plug and play type of deal. You hear the snap and you know that you're good to go. Um, to assist in cranking this, I want to hit my primer ball a couple of times. Um, I feel now that it's good and firm. I've pressurized this, uh, this, this fuel line, so I know that I'm good to go. Um, we've got a kill switch here. We are in the run position, um, so the motor is ready to crank. Uh, something that will aid this motor in cranking is our choke. I'm going to pull the choke and uh, give it a few cranks and uh, see what happens. shut the motor down. To get the kill switch back operational, you put your lanyard back into the switch, make sure it's down deep, 
flip it back into the uh, into the run position, and we should be good to go to start again. Uh, one unique feature. Come on around. One unique feature that we have on this small motor is um, if you're having idling problems um, or you just need to get a little bit of gas to it while it's in the neutral position, you can press this button right here and you can basically rev the motor without putting it in, in gear. 